Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft 1.20 Hardcore again where our goal is to beat the Ender Dragon, the Wither, the Guardian, and the Warden all without dying in Minecraft 1.20. But first, more importantly, we have to build a super kawaii house which I think at this point involves um, continuing to kawaii the uh, pillager outpost but in order to do that I am going to have to go and uh, get some more cherry wood so I can fill in the things that I'm like, you know, um, breaking. Because every dark oak log that I break over there, I have to replace with a piece of cherry wood. It's very important to the mission. Um, I'm going to get some of that. I'm going to get some of this so I can make some new stuff when we need it. And let me bring, uh, I'm sure I have a crafting table somewhere, right? Well, maybe, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have that, but I can make one. All right, there we go. Dude, honestly, doesn't the house, it looks just super tasty. It really looks super tasty, like you just eat it up. Anyway, all right, back over to the pillager outpost. Let's go, dude. Also, you know, I could get a wheat farm started if I wanted to, just by popping some seeds out of the grass and maybe start using that. Or I could just find a village before drinking milk. And see how that goes for us. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let me just chop down some trees over here. Get some more cherry wood. It's very important for us at this moment. Very important. And then I think maybe later today, as long as we get a basic house set up, um, we should probably head into the mines and maybe try to start getting some diamonds. Maybe start working on the nether, perhaps? I don't know. But anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video and uh, subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2 to stay tuned for more episodes in the series. And as always, if you're interested in grabbing yourself a server so you could play, say, Minecraft 1.20 with your friends, check out our sponsor, Apex Hosting, via the links in the description. You get 35% off your first month of server hosting um, until the end of June, and then it'll go back to uh, 25%. Um, but there's still a couple days, actually by the time this goes up on YouTube, will there be time left? I don't know, you'll just have to see. If it's July, 25%, if it's June, 35%. So there you have it. I gotta re-rack my trees. I gotta tree rack my rees, and then we can keep going. Okay, that's 32. God, I've been a bunch more pillagers have spawned since though. Okay, okay, okay. Look at how kawaii it's looking though, dude. Look at how kawaii we gotta we're gonna have to hit up some of the uh logs that are up at the top too okay i gotta do it symmetrically so that wherever we stop it we make sure that there is a lot of um kawaii-ness going on so let's hit up those i think that's the only only side remaining on this second floor nope bad guy don't do it you know what i did forget to do i forgot to make a new shield, which I'm going to need. Let me do that really quick, because otherwise we might be in a wee spot of trouble when my shield expires. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. I just want to use cherry wood, I guess. Dude, it would be so cool if like you did this and the shield ended up being like a pretty pink shield. I don't know why it doesn't do that. That's kind of lame. Doesn't match. Doesn't match. All right, let me, I don't want to swap it out yet, I guess. Wait, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to need a new axe and perhaps a new stone axe uh oh oh balls uh, <laughs> you got hit with the arrow dude get wrecked and shield bada bing bada boom my my shield's last breath deflected the arrow straight into the pillager that's freaking epic bro so it should be able to armor trim shields that would be pretty cool I do agree. I do agree. Okay, is there a heater? No, no coming up the stairs. You're, al you're disallowed. Okay. Oh god, there might be some mans. Oh, hello there. Can't hit me. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. When I'm stripping, I gotta use the stone. All right. Okay. 
Just, I just broke a, a leaf that an arrow was on top of, and it, it hurt me. Can you imagine if I was like half a heart, and I'm like, I just, I just survived the fight, and then I break a leaf, and that ends my series because I broke a leaf. That would, that would be something. That truly would be something. Um, okay, we got some things in here, though. Where did it go? Did it just fall down? God dang it. Oh my god. Why is it falling down? Alright, I don't actually... Oh, frick, mint. Wait. Oh, this is such an annoyingly inconvenient angle to work off of here. It's such an annoying angle. Oh my god, stop going to the other side, dude! <clears throat> oh, there's four. There's one below it, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so there's that there. Alright, alright, hold on. I gotta do all these. They're all going to the wrong side, though. Okay, there we go. Okay, so in order to make this work, I gotta, like... I basically do this? And then I gotta, I gotta put, like, a backstop here. God, that's really frustrating. That's very, that's very silly. I gotta do that. And then, I don't know that I actually have to strip these, though, you know? This is gonna lock me out. Wait, this is gonna lock me out. I can't do this in a way that doesn't lock me out. Oh, this is so frustrating. Um... I actually know the best way to do this. So that I can get all four of them. Uh... There's gotta be a strategy here, right? There's gotta be a freaking strategy. What the fr- how do I do this and without having to go back outside again in order to put one down? This is like one of those brain teaser puzzles in a puzzle game. Um, oh, use a slab on the inside. Oh, that's kind of clever. Frick, that means I gotta convert some to slabs. Alright, so we do that, and then we do that. <laughs> wait, this is- wait, no, but- no! Wait, I still can't- I'm gonna have to do a trap door! Oh my god! Why is it like this? Oh, frick, dude. Um, I'm gonna do it out of cherry wood because I'm sure we're gonna have to make another one at some point. Bro, this is just ridiculous. Okay, so you do like that and that, and then you put this down, and then you gotta do a trap door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, and then, yeah, like this, and then. Frick, wait. I can't do this. Wait, 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 I can do it like off the side. There we go, there we go. But then I gotta break this behind me. There we go. Oh my god. This is the worst. This is the worst. I'm sure that there was some better way to do that, but now I have to do that four times. Heck yeah, let's go. Um, okay. This is gonna be so, so awesome. We got that. We got that. And then we got... That one's easy down there. And then we head to the top one. And we do that. And then we put the trap door down. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh my god. God dang directional pieces, dude. Directional pieces are the worst. Cool. Two down. I'm making this so much worse. Yeah, no, I know I could like break the other planks or something like that, but I'm also I'm also being stubborn like a little bit. I could just like do this. That would be that would totally be a way to do it as well. But like the fact that I have to put down, I do actually have to put something down everywhere in order to put the planks against, which is annoying. Okay, sleep. There's no monsters nearby. What are we talking about? Is this gonna be the base? No, this is just a this is a side quest. It's in order to get a lot of um, dark oak, which I'm about to run out of actually, which is very unfortunate because uh, it means we're gonna have to leave and get more. But you know, it's um it's pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. I got I got enough in order to hit up the rest here, and then when I get up to the top, I'll have to figure something else out. No, 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 don't, don't, no shoost, no shoosty. 
No, Shusty, it's not allowed, not allowed at all. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. Perfecto. That was so much quicker than I did it before. God, we're learning. We're learning how to be efficient. Building machines, you know? All right, I think there's probably a guy up here. Never mind. There is no guy. What do we got? Oh my god, dude. A lot of dark oak. That is pretty cool. But, unfortunately, not a lot of uh, armor trims. Why wouldn't they have armor trims in here? That's lame. You would think that they would have armor trims. I'm just saying. But, you know what? Anyway. Okay, so we can leave it at that for now. That's another 33, which is pretty good. Should I just uh, YOLO? Should I YOLO? <laughs> Should not YOLO. If I miss the YOLO, then two shots, I'm just freaking dead, probably, so. That was... Oh, hi. This is awkward. Yeah, I forgot about the whole waterlogging thing. That's why I missed the MLG. No other... Holy frick balls! There's a lot of them! Oh, boy, they all conglomerated. Yikes! I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! I think I might have enough dark oak. We might be good. We might not have anything to worry about. That's a hole right there. That's a big hole. Huge hole. And we move, and we move. Okay, I do know people are going to want to see some progress in this episode, so don't worry. I will I will make an effort to actually um, do some stuff that's, that's cool and stuff like that. Hey, pink sheep. Yo, let me hit up some more of uh, that pink wool. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we might as well have it. So, honestly, I kind of... It might be a good idea to straight up have diamond armor before going into the nether, because if a brute decides that he doesn't like me, and, I mean, I think that's kind of a given. If I see a brute, they're not going to like me. But, you know, it would not go particularly well. Especially in, like, hardcore. So, I'm, like, a little bit concerned for that as a possibility, if you know what I'm saying. I'm just chopping the heck down out of these trees. Oh my god. Preparing for the Barbie movie? Bro, yeah, why aren't they sponsoring this? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. Don't you see what I'm doing here? Don't you see how kawaii this house is? This could be Minecraft 1.20 Hardcore brought to you by Super Kawaii Barbie. But it's not. It's not, and that's a missed opportunity, I think, on their part. All right, this is kind of dark in here. It's okay, I'm gonna get more, more of this, and then we'll be able to make more torches. We'll be able to see everything. I can see clearly now. The coal is gone. Am I going to see the new Barbie movie? Um, I don't know. I have no idea, mate. I have no clue. I honestly, here's the thing. I really like to go to movie theaters all that often. Did see Spider-Verse. But it's pretty good. I'm also like, eh. Would I have been down to just totally wait for it to be viewable at home? Yeah. Yeah, I'd have been down. Oh, this guy made it all the way over? Holy frick, with an enchanted... What? He's... That went through my shield! You can't do that! Oh my god. Oh my god, this man's is crazy with the piercing. Yeah, holy frick. I did not ask for that. No, I did not. Anyway, we got cherry logs. Okay, so let's wrap this thing up. At least, um, at least our first iteration here by completing the roof on it. I feel like we can probably get that done. Uh, with the amount of dark oak that we have here, fingies cross, fingies front. It might take more. It may take some more. We'll see how it goes. All right, I should also like maybe planting some crops. Not a terrible idea. I keep middle mouse clicking, trying to sort things out, dude. No can do there. SMH, the windows aren't pink. I don't have, like, pink dye ready to go at this very second. Okay, cut me some slack. We just got started here. We just got started. Okay, do I want to have another... Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another cherry beam kind of protruding here. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. And then what we can do is we can get the uh, the stairs kind of 
you know, curving out from, that's not going to work, is it? Oh, that's not going to work. Um, so that's not going to match. Okay, I got to figure something out here. I think what we're going to have to do is have it kind of have a, a flat spot, probably. Have a flat spot like that, perhaps, in here. And then the stairs are going to go up against that, maybe. Um, oh, you think just use slabs as a hole instead of stairs? Hmm. But then it's going to weird. It's going to meet weirdly. I think it's going to meet things kind of weirdly. But the other issue is now. Um, I don't know. This might be. Here, let me just do this. Yeah, I think I'll just have it flat in that area. I think it's fine. Like, we're not really going to be seeing the roof either. So I don't think it's going to present much of a problem. Um, but yeah, I can just uh, turn that into a slab. Quick. And then do this. Probably need to light this up, otherwise uh, we're going to get some mob spawning in here. This is why I got all these uh, coal, because I knew I was going to need to light this up. I'll probably have to do some, like, I'll try to, I don't know, do it more elegantly at some point, but for now, we will do it like that. And then let's get some more slab skis here, dude. Okay. More stairs. Nope. Frick. Um, in. slab and then stair there and then, yeah, stair here. Okay, cool. Did not want it to do that. Okay, there we go. Dang it. There we go. Cool. All right. It's looking good. I think it's looking good. I see no issues here. I think that works. I do need to... Oh, I need to put a few more stairs down here. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Here, I'll, uh, I'll put these leaves back. Yeah. We could have another area right here of, like, kind of the leaves cascading off again. That could be kind of nice. Something like that. And then... All right, are we good? Are we like pretty much good? Let me just do a couple more like, I don't know, cherry slabs over here. Um, like blend it in kind of like so. That'll work, that'll work. Okay, cool. Now we just gotta finish up the interior. I think it's great. All right, then we'll be able to make some progress, you know, if we ever want to make some changes here and there, we can totally, totally make some updates and stuff like that. Yeah, we need to light this up on the inside. Oh, I gotta finish that wall, too. Um, I know, I need to make some lanterns. Very important. Very importante. Quick. Do I want to have that crossbar going there? Hmm... Is that kind of in the way, or is it kind of cool as, like, a support? Maybe it's kind of cool as a, a support beam, sort of. I'll leave it for now. Get the door down. Wait, no, I have more doors. One does not simply craft more doors. One does not simply craft into Mordor without having Mordor's already. There we go. Yeah, that was, see, that was missing before. 
I do need to get, again, lanterns. Lanterns would be looking swick on top of this. I will fix that, I promise. But currently our iron is a bit of a hot commodity. So let's sleep. No monsters underneath us. I will light up the cave. I know that people were saying in the first episode, classic Jardoon, finding an area and just, uh, it has a hole. All right, just cover it up with dirt. Don't light it up and then be like, why can't I sleep? There are monsters nearby. Can't figure out what's going on. <sighs> yeah, anyway. Okay, so how, this is going to be a tall area, dude. It's going to be a tall area, bro. It's looking like an antique creepy dollhouse. That is offensive, man. That is real offensive. What the frick? Why would you say it's antique and creepy? It's new, it's posh, it's modern, and there is absolutely nothing wrong here, man. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go like, yeah, top to bottom kind of like so. What if you just did like a big old, big old window over on this side, you know? Wait, is that gonna be, that is not gonna be complete over there because that's a slab. I could just do like a gigantic window, maybe, right there. And then I'll decorate it on the outside, you know. And on the inside, but that, that could look nice. Just a big old view window looking out kind of, there's a view over there, you know, to the other biome. We could use a big fancy window in our home. Big fancy window, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Make that, make that the nether portal. <laughs> Turn it into obsidian, it'll kind of blend in, you know, with the dark cherry bark and stuff. Oh yeah, you could put stained glass on that one. If I get some pink dye, then I could, you know, alternate checkerboard, like, I don't know. Okay, let's not get too carried away for the moment, okay? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, what I'm gonna do, oh, I gotta decorate this over here, though, I gotta decorate this. I gotta do a lot of decoration, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta grab my leaves, I gotta, oh, you know what would be sick is if I got some uh, pots, and I put the cherry blossoms inside of the pots, kind of sitting on the, uh, oh, sitting on the fences outside, that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool and kind of kawaii. Or so I think, anyway. All right, what do we need? That, um, probably gonna need more trap doors. <clears throat> okay, so let me just double check so it matches up here. Oops, this I just put down last time so I can get on the roof. All right, so basically yeah, it's just like stairs and then the leaves on either side of the stairs. So kind of like, um, probably like leaf here, leaf here, and then some stairs in the center. And then, you know, we gotta get the uh, trap doors going and stuff like that. Oh, dude, like put a pot here, pot here. Oh, that's gonna be the way, bro. That's gonna be the way. And now what do I do here in order to make this look do I go triple, maybe I go triple trap doors all the way up? Like big window, big trap doors? Yeah? Might be the way. You know what they say about big windows. That's right, big trap doors. And then. One more. I do uppies, uppies, and then down, and then down. Oh yeah, dude, that's looking nice right there. That's looking pretty cool. And then, you know, we can do another like little kind of flowing situation here, right? Little overflowing leaves. Kind of obstructs the view a little bit, but I don't know. I think it looks nice. I think it looks nice. Like that. 
kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's good. That's good. And we should we also have like growing out of the root? No, I think we've got some good leaf flowage there. Then we got good leaf flowage coming around the back. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. This is good. It's looking nice. It's looking great. Look at us. Look at us. Look at what we've accomplished together. Now the question is, if I'm gonna do a basement, where should I have the staircase be at? I suppose like somewhere around the side of here or something. Now obviously, you know, a future future me, we gotta worry about kind of furnishing the place, making it look pretty and stuff like that. Maybe I can add a, another trapdoor there. There's something about that that makes me uncomfortable, like I'm gonna wake up and then I'm gonna smack my face on that. You probably don't want your headboard like overhanging over where you put your head. I, I think there's a good reason why beds are not engineered with that, perhaps, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so, well, we got plenty of dark oak then left over, that's nice. Yeah. I guess the pillager tower will Stay the way. Man, it would be the top that turns into super kawaii that would make it in our view, but oh well, at least we know the bottom half is, is kawaii a little bit. All right, so, yeah, I mean, I think what I'm just gonna end up doing probably is, like, let's just extend the staircase on this side. We don't want it to be on that side because we have a door exit there, so I think just extend the staircase down from here. And then turn that into the basement. That's where we'll put the chests and stuff like that. I just want to remind everybody that the reason why we are doing a basement is because people actually, after I put this together, it was a little bit of a mix between make a basement or make an attic. I think that the attic would um, not look great with our current setup, and I don't have the building prowess in order to change that. So instead, I'm going to cower in fear in the corner and um, dig a basement. So... Um, I just need to make sure it doesn't become a head hitter, is the only issue. Okay, alright, we're gonna want some, uh, we're gonna want some cherry stairs heading on down in here. Do I only have three more cherry logs left? Ay ay ay! Or no, those are the ones I just collected from the floor. Yeah, I might need more. I need to get these, and I need to get these. And let's get ourselves... It is gonna be, it's gonna be Kawaii Basement, though. All right, it's gonna be a quiet basement. I don't think anyone can have a problem with that, right? How deep does it have to be? Probably down to there, yeah. At that level here, it'd be three blocks tall. I don't want to get it to go too far though, otherwise it'll escape the uh, confines of the house. So, we can leave the ceiling the same, it'll still look fine. Could do a three block basement, perhaps. You know, that might work. I think barrels would look nice. Instead of doing chests, we just do barrels. That way we would be able to take, like, full advantage um, of, like, max height. It might not be a terrible idea. Imagine I get advanced enough for an auto sorter in my basement. Mm -hmm. Imagine. That sounds pretty cool. Just imagine it. You're probably going to have to keep on imagining it because I... I don't know that we're actually gonna, gonna get there. Um, yeah. Okay, I think, did I break one too many? Like we could actually do that and then still be good. Oh, we could do that and still be good. All right, cool. So I may like, I may not do full furnishing and like, you know, getting all the cherry wood down here immediately. I might just like at least get some inventory set up, get some barrels going so we can dump out what we have, get a little sorted out. And then after that, we can, um, you know, worry about making it pretty later. And also putting down all the barrels would allow me to um, know what I actually have to cover with the cherry wood. Nope. Oh. 
Uh, is this the spot over here where the, uh, mobs were spawning, perhaps? Hmm, maybe? Okay, let's do uh, another shovel. I feel like wasting my iron on a shovel. It's still kind of a valuable commodity for me at the moment. Here, we'll make the landing this, though. It'll be good. And we can alternate the checkerboard between the floor and the ceiling if we end up doing a checkerboard. We might not do a checkerboard. I don't know. Enchantment table room in the basement? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I think this is where the uh, mobs were coming from. Yeah. Yep. Yep, the place that I went down and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. <laughs> probably where they were coming from. I got it, guys. I fixed it. It's a sick tunnel. Yeah, I could make it like, oh, dude, just in case, you know, say the pillagers, they all like get together, they form a group, and they figure out, you know, that I'm living here. I'm living in their former biome, and they all just, they decide to form a raid on me, right? I got a, I got a secret escape that no one will ever know about, and they'll never be able to follow me in here, you know? Could be kind of cool. Could be kind of cool. The question is, do I want to, do I just start the barrels on this wall and this wall, maybe? Actually, I do want to expand this by one, I can just put the barrels into there. Because that's going to be the edge of the house. Yeah. Rut row. That'll be fun. Surely we won't have a creeper that blows up and then gets right into our basement and everything's bad. That would never happen. H bomb, you love my title, dude? I didn't actually write it. I think that was Inga, I'm pretty sure. Hardcore kawaii baby. For anyone on YouTube who's watching who doesn't know what I mean by that. Unless you're thinking that he meant the, the YouTube title, which would be incredible future prediction technology. Um, anyway, hello, Mr. Bomb. I'm, um, I'm making, do you want to see my beautiful super kawaii house? Look at this, 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 look at that. Tell me you don't want to just eat it right up. I know you do. Can't possibly resist. Don't lie, I made the title. I wish I could claim credit for it. I really do. Uh, do I need this much dirt? Hey, we could take it in the nether, build things. Um, that's almost as cute as me, ooh woo. <clears throat> you know that I can't accept that sort of thing. I can't accept those sorts of compliments. That's just not going to work for me. Um, but any Oh, you haven't seen the back porch. You haven't seen the back porch. The back porch is looking pretty swick, too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. It was Jessa. Jessa would like to claim credit for the title. And I've really, I really messed up. That's my bad. That's my fault. The day Cap takes a compliment is the day that it snows in LA. It has happened. And I assume you mean like downtown LA, because LA County gets plenty of snow actually. All right, there we go. I can credit Inga with the colon three. Okay. So Inga did contribute a part of it. Frick, I forgot to bring the saplings. I messed up. I'm just trying to get some more wood so I can make barrels. See, the thing that's a bummer is if I make barrels, even if they're out of kawaii cherry wood, they don't actually, they're not pink barrels. My storage is not going to look cute. Oh, good. More saplings dropped. You're like, what, what am I going to do about that? It doesn't seem okay. It does not seem okay. I am going to be very upset if I go through all this and then I die here. Because you you know that 
the future, the next world that I make, I'm going to completely not do any of this. Like, maybe I'll find a cherry biome. Then it'll bring back terrible memories, and then I'll be like, all right, I'm digging into my um, rectangular basement. And um, I am going to leave it dirt and stone and cobblestone, and that is all you get. You get nothing else. Because I can't go through this again. I cannot go through the heartbreak, the disappointment, the sadness, the heartache, the acceptance, the grief, all the phases. I will make a recreation of Pete's Dirt Igloo Workshop from all the mods if that happens. Alright, there we go. Boom. Let's add some more. Let's increase the density here a little bit. I use pink shulky boxes for the basement. Oh, innovative. What an idea. That'd be kind of cool, dude. Oh, by the way, um, so I don't know if anyone saw the uh, community post that I posted on the main channel. Um, I am gonna end up bringing Medieval Minecraft over to Twitch streams, Captain Sparkles 2. Um, cause I, I'm actually kind of like impressed that it did like the the series, at least when it comes to medieval Minecraft, like series on Captain Sparkles 2 do better than on the main channel. I think it could be for, I think there could be a couple of reasons for that. Like one, it could simply be that maybe people aren't going to be as interested in medieval Minecraft. And therefore, once I post it on Captain Sparkles 2, people are just not going to be interested. It's very possible that ends up being the case. But assuming all things equal with this series like choice selection which is quite a thing to assume um it could be that like because there's a higher percentage of the subscriber base on captain sparkles 2 that watches minecraft content it means that when i upload a new video youtube is going to interpret it as like doing better because it's like hey so there's a there's 900 whatever thousand subscribers here and of those like a few hundred thousand, a couple hundred thousand are active at watching the series. So therefore, like a higher click through rate is going to happen when it's shown to people who are subscribed to the channel. They're more likely to click on it versus the main channel where like it has over 10x, 11x the subscriber base. But there might be a basically I think the Venn diagram of people who watch Minecraft on Captain Sparkles 2 and people who watch Minecraft on the main channel is basically just a circle at this point. And so if we have the exact same number of audience, but it's put against a subscriber count that's like 10 to 11 X, it means that YouTube is going to be like, oh, this content is is not good um, when it's first shown to the audience for that channel. And so it ends up actually performing worse overall, despite actually being posted to a larger channel. So I think that could be one of the phenomenon going on. Mm. Because otherwise you'd be like, how could it get less views on a bigger channel, right? And it's edited too. Um, so anyway, that's my hypothesis. I don't know if it's accurate or not. Um, but, all right, let's make some barrels here. Uh, how many barrels are we going to need? But anyway, I um, I don't know. There's part of me, like I said in the post, I kind of, I don't know, I want to like try maybe doing um just more videos that like I invest a little bit more time into. I guess let's just do barrels like this. Make it a wall full of barrels. We'll label them with signs and it'll be a good time. Uh that could be a good start maybe. No, let's because they're all gonna be single chest inventory level, so we'll make a few more. Um yeah, but I like I've I couldn't tell you exactly what it is now because, you know, things change over the years, trend change, interest change. But like over the years, I've had ideas for things that I'd be like, oh, this could be a cool video. But it would require me to like not make any other videos for a week or two and just kind of fully focus on this. And so I'm like, ah, I can't do that. I got to I got to get videos up like regularly um, on on the main channel. Right. I have a series going. I got to get episodes of the series posted. And so, 
I think if I kind of moved past that mindset to where I just, you know, I'm fine spending extra time on something like that, then could be a could be an interesting approach. Um, dude, oh, the A-B thumbnail testing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait for them to roll that thing out. Holy frick. Dude, I was invited to a beta test, A-B thumbnail test program probably like four years ago. And, and I was like, oh, thank, this, is, this means you're actually going to bring this to the site soon, right? Right? <laughs> it's just like, nope. Never ended up. But it, that was, so that was such a difficult thing to like be, oh, hello, Cranios. What's up, mate? How's it going? Dude, the thumbnail A-B test beta back then, like this, it was an internal program. I was like, there's no way. This is such a pain, dude. You had to actually email them. You had to email them the thumbnails that you, I'm going to make this like my cherry chest. You had to email them the thumbnails like several days in advance that you wanted to use uh, to test on a video. And then it would basically like, they would manually apply them. And then it would be like a week that the test would be going. And then it would like automatically select the one that had the best performance or something like that. And I was just like, I'm posting like, this was at the time when I was still posting two videos a day. And I'm just like, I can't, I can't make multiple thumbnails for all these two videos a day. Email them to you in advance when oftentimes the videos are coming in like as they need to go public. Right. Like this is not going to this is not going to be viable. And then also I'm like, I want to be able to see what's performing immediately and immediately be able to choose that thumbnail going forward. Like, why do I have to wait? Why do I have to wait for like a week for some outcome when I could just see immediately what one's getting more real time views? That that seems weird. Anyway, uh, I hope that uh, I hope that whatever the, the setup is for this new thing it'll be like really nice and streamlined and stuff like that so anyway other people though like for other people who are in the trial who you know they probably post you know a couple videos a month or something like that it it made sense for them oh, i can use cherry signs on this though right probably made sense for them because i mean they can just you know once they they have a video the first one that they have going up in in two weeks and they're like sure i'd love to I'll, I'll put together a couple thumbnails, email them to you, and then, you know, this these are videos that they hope have, like, really long-term performance versus something that maybe, you know, gets watched for a few days and then it kind of falls off as, like, the next episodes come out. So it was viable for other people with different content styles, but um, now it would be very viable if I'm posting, like, less stuff that's higher, higher effort, you know? Um, all right, this will be my cherry, cherry sign, and then this... I should change that, actually. Wait, here we go. <laughs> God, that's vanilla now. It's freaking vanilla now. How sick. I almost went to break it, and then I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. Don't need to do that anymore. Uh, cherry leaves. And then this will be dirt. Frick. That's okay. I drop it down. No, can't do that. Can't do that retroactively. Dirt. And then bleh, general other kinds of wood, maybe, or something like that. Let me get, like, I don't know. General wood. Frick! I need to go to the second line. I'm trying to balance it so that signs look nice. Imagine a creeper just drops in on my head right now and ends the series. <laughs> How sad would I be? This can be, like, I don't know, cobble. This can be, um, we'll do, like, an ores chest probably make it like glass or something like that and then make it like food over here perhaps food god i hope i don't go through all this and then just get freaking demolished glass oh no god dang it you called it out frick thank you thank you crinios Otherwise, that sign would have been forever problematic. Would have been terrible. Would have been terrible. Um, let's do like 
maybe like metals and then we can do, I don't know, we'll just do ores. We'll probably have to do like ores one, two, three or something like that. So I'll leave this, I'll leave, frick, I'll leave this for uh, this whole stack here for ores. Um, rocks, minerals, ores, Marie. I'm going to manifest the creeper if I keep bringing it up. See, I think about it the other way. I think, like, this could be kind of reverse psychology, right? Like, I, by continuing to bring it up, it means I'm aware of it, and therefore it, like, won't actually end up happening, right? If that makes any sense. Does that make any sense? I think it makes sense. It should make sense. If it doesn't make sense, that's on you, not me. So, anyway. Um... What could we, what do we got? We got more cherry leaves to go in there and then more, I'm going to need agriculture and then mob drops and all that stuff. Ores can go in there. Beautiful. Let me just continue. We'll just jump to this being, you know, set. So, all right, we got it all, we got it all sorted out for the most part right now. Okay, that's good. I left some empty space so we can expand because of course we're not double chesting here. It's only single chest with the barrels, but we get the verticality, being able to open on the top without it being obstructed. It's, it's great. It's great. It's awesome. Um, let's make sure we're all, it's lit fam inside of here. And now, you know, maybe, maybe what we want, actually, no, I was going to say maybe what we want to do here is like make a mine out of the, actually, maybe we do want to make a mine out of the freaking basement. Oh, that's actually going to be really annoying because of how high up we are right now. Oh, we're at Y equals 121. I have to dig an extra 64 blocks down just to get to the starting point of a normal mine. Oh, God. Frick. I mean, otherwise, I have to make a staircase up anyway. Just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Make a water elevator. Well, you see, in order to make a water elevator, the problem is I I have to, I would, I would have to dig straight down. And I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put that over there for now. We're going to take this down with us. We're going to take some iron with us. And then we're going to collect uh, some stoof. We're going to collect ourselves some stoof down there. And it's going to be good. Bring... We'll bring general wood along with us. Bring that down. Bring a bed down, I guess. Dig straight down with water. Do you think I should actually do that? You guys should really just do that? Like, put the water down and then just... Well, no, that's gonna... No, the water is gonna be... No, or just a two block wide and then do water at the bottom or something like that. Hmm... Trying to think, how would I? I could just make ladders and do it that way, perhaps, maybe. No, I know water elevator would be good. What I could actually do, yeah, you know what? How many ladders? How many ladders can I make? Not very many. With, um, uh, let's see, two by one hole. Let water run from a third block. Hmm, kind of a clever way to do it. Actually, it's kind of a clever way to do it. I could do that. I could actually do that. I'm going to need some cobble with me, but if we wanted to efficientify this, it might actually be wise. Yeah. All right. We could do it from over here. This will be kind of our, like, mine entrance area. So what we do, right, is we do this. And then we'd, like, do that, right? And then we just dig down. It'll be annoying, but it will work. Let me get one more bit of water here. After I sleep. Um, ladders on the way down. I actually don't think... If I have that water there, I, I don't need to do ladders. So, I might be chilling. Wait, actually. I'm gonna just... Uh, no, I think I'm concerned about it. I don't want to run down and then run back up getting water. That's going to be freaking annoying. There's going to be water down there. I'm sure of it. I'm sure there will be some water down wherever we go. Definitely. There's no way that there wouldn't be. All right, everybody. All right. Uh, one. I'm going to just... Should I iron pickaxe this? Because it's going to break on the way down. Hold on. Let me just do this. 
I'm gonna get some of that going. Put back the cherry wood. And then make a stone pickaxe. Just in case. Yeah, what are waystones coming in, dude? Well, what gives? What gives? Why don't we have waystones? Honestly, ridiculous. Ah. Well, you see, this has gone and fricked everything. Pardon me. There we go. Oh, frick, wait. It's gonna frick everything. That's not gonna work, is it? That's actually not gonna work. I've just realized. That's not gonna work. Because... It's... It's... It's gonna... Like, the water is gonna spread when it hits the ground. Yeah, I have to dig down the water. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that's what I do. Right, right, right. I dig the water side. And then I dig this. Right, 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 right. That's what you do. Duh. That's kind of sick, though. That's kind of sick. Um, the only... <laughs> Hey, bummer is like, I can't really see a great deal. Um, because of, you know. Well, actually, this works, though. This works. Well, this works really well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we freaking go. And I can't possibly freak this up. That's famous last words, actually. I really shouldn't say something like that. Yeah, the shaders do make it, like, a little bit discombobulating, but, you know, at the end of the day, it is working. You don't like it. I like it. This is sick. <laughs> this is sick, actually. I guess I could do, yeah, one, two, three at a time. Oh, there that goes. Um, what are we at? Y equals 70. Hey, dude, this is so much faster than staircasing, bro. This is sick. I've actually never done a, a mine entrance this way. Honestly, this may be like my... This may be my preferred method from now on, two, three. Because you don't, like, it's faster going up and down. It's faster going up and down than a freaking ladder or a staircase or anything like that. Other than the part where you may drown, depending upon how long it takes. <laughs> and when you try to breathe and get air, you might fall back down. Um, but yeah, it's kind of sick. Kind of sick until you run into a bunch of uh, harder to mine blocks. I would like the iron though. Hello, please. May I have that? Really, just one? Like, what are you? What are you on about with this? What are you on about with just one iron? Crazy. Oh, we got a cave. We got a cave down here, boys. How deep are we right now? We are at 33. Okay. Um, do water at the bottom and then uh, yeah, bubble elevator. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's check out this little cave ski. Ooh. Oh, this flows into a bit of an A. Oh. It's got some iron in it. Oh my god, this way. This has... It's mostly copper. Holy frick, that's a lot of copper. My god. See, here's the thing that kind of... Kind of messes with me, right? Is like, you have... Other than the... Bl I guess that's why copper is plentiful. It's because you can use it as a building material. And so you want to be able to get a lot of blocks with it. But god, there's just copper everywhere. And outside of blocks, you don't really do much with it. It's like spyglass and that's pretty much it, right? This is why we should have voted for Copper Column. <laughs> yeah. 
It's the copper we get more uses there, right? Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. All right, let me get the iron pickaxe going again. All right, I do, though, I need to, like, keep track of them, you little frick. Now, I hope there might be some water. Oh, there, there's a little water we can yoink. Dang. This place is Narbuckle. I do have to be a little bit careful, though, obviously. You know, if a skeleton decides that they don't like us and then bring their friends, could be a bad day. I hate the fact that, like, if they shoot before you block, right, you're doomed. We almost got a disc, bro. We almost got a disc. Oh, man, that thing goes. Holy frick. <gasps> what? Again? No shot. This happened again. What the frick? Okay, people are going to be like, what? People are going to be this guy. This guy clearly screens his seeds. 1.19... 1.19 all advancements. He gets himself a freaking ancient city. 1.20! Hardcore, he gets himself an ancient city! What the frick? What the frick is this? There's no freaking way. There is no way. What? Okay, I gotta... Let me highlight the frick out of this area, though. This is, like, pretty nice and... Uh, that's not the place. That's not the place. I just want to highlight my exit. What the heck, Mitt? What the heck, Mitt, bro? What the frick? Bro, I'm going to have to be so careful, though. Like, is it... Is it too spoilery to do a thumbnail with an ancient city in it? <laughs> like... Are people going to just be like, why do you do a thumbnail with the ancient city? This is interesting. I'll click on it. Or is it just going to be like, oh, you found an ancient city. Oh, I guess spoiler. I'm not going to click. Thumbnail with the shrieker. I guess that doesn't give away ancient city. Like, you could have a shrieker and just a skulk biome, right? So... Well, I guess this says, um, this has made our, the warden component significantly easier. Like, I don't want to do it yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in like standard deep dark though, right? You do have to contend with the fact that there could be other mobs around. Whereas ancient city, no other mobs. So it kind of, it really does help you out a bit. So that when you're contending with the warden, you know, it's just like kind of solo. Wait, was there was a diamond down there that you could see? Frick. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is indeed. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That could be good. Oh, my God, dude. This cave is crazy. Dude, what a pickup. How does it... I don't know. I swear, guys. I don't... Maybe ancient cities are just pretty easy to find. Like, maybe it's just easy to find. Because I, I don't... I don't... Either that or I just, like... There's something about me that I am just, I am just magnetic. I am a magnet to the wardens in ancient cities or something like that. If you build your house on a mountain both times, they have a high chance of having ancient city. Okay, cool. So we'll go with that as an explanation. That it's, it's that because I'm a mountainous individual, it means that's what the thing is. Because I like a view, I get good stuff. Clearly. Oh my god. And then there's another, a whole, like, underwater cave here on top of this. Dang. 
All right, what are we up to? 19 raw iron. I mean, we're going to want to get quantities so that we can do a, an anvil. We are going to want that for sure, for sure. Oh, that's a cluster. Let's go. I just pushed my iron into places where angry skeletons and creepers are going to be on me. And did I get everything? I think I got it all. I think we're okay. Frick you for messing up my torches. Now there's going to be so many more mobs spawning in here. Unbelievable. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I don't need like too much more iron. Probably, actually, you know what? Let me get some of the smelting. Just so that like if I need to, I can do some more stuff. Nobody's going to sneak up on me, right? <laughs> I am in my inventory. It's going to be a bad time. Um, I think I saw water over here. Yeah, okay, cool. Bro, there's so much. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Here's where we get dicey. Here's where we get dicey. You stay there, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this place. Look at this freaking place is insane. That was a moment. That oh, was a moment where we almost died. Oh my god. Whew. Jeez. I don't even know where that dude came from. He just came out of nowhere and was like, nope. This is going to be the end of your series. Holy god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I'm going to need torches for days as well. When you have the shaders on, even though, you know, I could, I could install like a Fulbright mod, but once you have the shaders on, I don't think anything affects it. That looks so gnarly from afar, though. Yeah, I mean, my, my biggest concern, really, is either getting yeeted into a pit that I can't get out of and I die, or um, just... You know, creeper coming out of nowhere and ruining my day. Emeralds on the ceiling? Yeah, there's some emeralds. Emeralds aren't as high of a priority. You know, if we want emeralds, we'll have to just go find a village or something like that. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine if, like, uh, going into an ancient city with a uh, bad omen, like, triggered some special raid? Oh, my God. Wow, that's an ancient city location if I've ever seen one. Frick, dude, is there going to be just open under here? Okay, it's not. All right, cool. It's just going to be a solo diamond, isn't it? That's just the worst. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm like too scared to look over the edge because I think something's going to end up behind me and like shoot me off. Holy frick. Which direction does it go? Oh my god. Okay, it must just head in that way, I guess. Okay. I mean, sure, I can just check. Um, not looking good. You're right. I could put some water. Actually, there is some water flowing down here. Oh my god, look at that. Just obby pit in the center. Holy frick. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to jump down there and accidentally set off a Set off shriekers or something like that. Yeah, there's a geode over there. I wanna, I'm just like seeing if I can scout around. Any more diamonds or anything just popping out? Bro, I swear the glow licking just trips me up every time because I think, I think that it's diamonds, man. Do a flip. <laughs> Jump, do it. YOLO it, man. YOLO it. Over here. 
What is over here? Oh, just more, more ways down, I guess. Andy man, hey buddy. Okay, we got double skellies down there. Not a huge fan of. I'll take one at a time. Okay, Mr. Aimbot. Miss me. Miss me. Direct. Yeah, this would be a nice place to have an elytra, wouldn't it? Mm, I'm inclined to agree with you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that's a little ways away for us. This does give us a good, like, we can at least kind of observe the uh, area on the other side from here. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many shriekers. <laughs> there's diamonds over there, though. Man, wait, I think there's diamonds there. I'm pretty sure that right there is diamonds. But, oh. God, there's so many shriekers, though. Oh, no, dude. I can, I don't think I can, I don't know how to get to that without setting a bunch off. I guess there's kind of a path. It's kind of a path. If I drop down into there, and then, oh, my God. Dude, this is a freaking cave if I've ever seen one. This is crazy, bro. Imagine showing this with shaders to someone back in like alpha days and be like, this, this is your future. They'd be like, what are you talking about? There's no way. Okay, you really want me to do this? Okay, this is gonna be the, this will be the freaking finale of the episode. Is gonna be going for the YOLO and trying to get the diamonds, huh? At least it's not, I don't think it's gonna be terribly difficult for me to find my way back up. Um, everything is like just one big cave that's so centralized, so I gotta say, that is nice. Will there not? I don't know if there won't be mobs, or not. I don't know how far the like ancient city. Oh wait, it goes. It like goes that way. What the heck? It goes. How does it get there? How does it go from there to there? Like that's solid. I don't know how this is working. Unless it's like another ancient city. It couldn't be. There's no way it's two, right? There's no way. If they, if it's literally a double ancient city, then people are going to be like, yo, hand over the seed, please. I'm going to need that. I'm going to be confiscating your seed. Um. No, but like, it's got a hit. I guess we'll find out once we jump down, huh? All right, everybody. I thought that was spider eyes for a second. Okie dokie. Here goes nothing. Wee. Oh my god! Look at the. Oh, it's an it's an iron vein. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's an Omega Iron Vein. There's so much iron over there. Oh my god, this place is crazy. I am so not ready for this. I am so not ready for this. If... If Warden spawns, I'm... I'm fricked. I'm gone. It's over. You make any armor yet? Yeah, dude, I've got iron armor. I, I can't do better than iron armor at the moment. What the frick? Just... Shut up! 
Shut up, bat! Shut up! Stop flying! Was it diamonds? It, it should be. Yeah, they're over there. They're there, they're there. Could I actually be doomed by a bat? Is that possible? Oh, what? Oh, oh, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. I just want to make sure there's no lava or anything underneath. Nope, okay. Okay, we got enough for a pickaxe. Do the, the uh, I know, dot exposed. Oh, oh, you can see, you can see the end of the ancient city zone. <laughs> they make it abundantly obvious. This is a trick off bat. Stop it! Stop doing this, bat. Sneak hundred. Wait, there's a catalyst right there. There's a shrieker. There's a shrieker. There, dude. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, everybody. Well, you know, we'll have to figure out what we want to do from here. But um, thank you all for tuning in to this wonderful episode of Minecraft Hardcore 1.20. Thank goodness this bat can't frick us up. It seems. Um, and uh, we'll continue to see what we're gonna do in this area next time around. So. All right, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you later.